What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in the Airbus A320. We are flying in Africa. I believe we are flying into Gandhi International Airport. We're already most of the way there. We are about 60 nautical miles from our arrival uh, waypoint. And I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you to a buddy of mine he, uh, he told me that he found an old flight joystick that he bought like 10 years ago. It's just been sitting in a drawer on a shelf somewhere, covered in dust. He said he's used it maybe three times. Um, he's looking to get into flight sim possibly a little bit when it comes out on the new Xbox. And so he wanted me to take this thing home with me today and test it out and let him know what I think and how it works. and. It is the Freedom 2.4 cordless joystick from Logitech. It's a wireless Bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz joystick. It has like 10 programmable buttons. It's got a joystick. It's got a POV hat, whatever you want to call that. Uh, it's got a little, it's got a little rotating switch on it. That's like on an axis. I guess you could use it for a throttle, something like that. Uh, it is a twist rudder joystick, which means that you basically twist the joystick to get the rudder action. And I will say it works pretty good. I haven't really had any issues with it yet. Uh, the takeoff was really nice. We've just been up here cruising. I will say that the the twist function on the rudder, it was a little sensitive, but I just set a little dead zone and took the sensitivity back in the settings on my flight simulator and it works pretty good. So I would recommend, uh, see what they want. Send and maintain 10,000. Crank my speed back to 250. Click that out to fly selected and then do a managed descent 10,000 at a speed of 250 knots. So you'll see the first thing the plane is doing is it's going to slow itself down to the 250 knots and then you'll see it start to descend. You'll see that green vertical speed indicator start to go down saying that we're descending. Hopefully we get down in time. I know that the uh, the in-game air traffic control doesn't like to descend you on time, so we'll see how that works. We'll see if we get down in time. Uh, but I figured, yeah, I'd make a short little quick video. It's not a full flight, but it'll just be a landing video into Gandhi International in Africa, and we're gonna be testing out how this Freedom 2.4 works out here. I would say my buddy's name uh, and shout him out on the channel, but I'm not sure if he wants me to say his name or not. Uh, but he's pretty much one of the only guys that watches my channel, so he pretty much knows who he is. Let's see if we can get an ADIS request here. Sweet. 
Radio HS. Alright, so he said two nine or nine or And I wanna come down here and I wanna see if I can get an ADIS request for EOHS. There's a way you can do this here. Uh, ATC menu. The reports. Uh, request. Two ten, so we'll just go to Okay, so that just skipped that waypoint for some. So we're just going to go direct to Looks like it's just trying to, autopilot's trying to fly circles here, so... We're just gonna annually tell it what to do here. I don't know why it's skipping waypoints on me. Thank you. 
So basically it skipped A4 and it skipped that Baduk waypoint. So I'm just going to go out here and make a circle and get myself lined back up with Baduk and then come in that way. I don't know why it's doing that, but it'll give us a little bit more time to descend anyway. So about this Freedom 2.4, it's a it's a wireless. It works with Bluetooth. There's a there's a cord with a little Bluetooth thing plugged into the back of my computer, and then I can put this joystick anywhere I want. It's kind of nice. Like if I wanted, I could just put it in my lap. Okay, so they cleared me to Baduck. ILS 27 left, which is what I was expecting. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect ILS runway 27 left. So will it let me go direct the duck? Now it lets me go direct to the duck. Jet Blue 3 copy? Yeah, copy. I'm getting jerked around by this airplane. It has a mind of its own right now. Aetis, that's what I want. Aetis. I go here to received messages. No messages. It says I have a company message. Here. Forty six hundred now. Descend and maintain four thousand six hundred feet jet blue three two zero heavy. Well, I do I do have a uh, I do got glide slope and I do have a localizer. I really would like the arrival ATIS for the printer.
There it is. Aid is not available. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's see, can I do the weather then? Weather request. Your There we go. Wind is 300 at 4 knots. Temperature is 31. Oh no, that's the wrong airport. POHS. Uh, 140 at 5 knots. Go ahead and get on that localizer. Alright, one four zero at five knots. Temperature is twenty nine. Four zero at five, temperature is twenty. Zero at five knots. Barrel looks like it's going to be two nine or nine or one. Two thousand five hundred. It's not out of range. What are you oh, I need to go and keep your name. So, now oh, what was the temperature? See the runway out there. Tower on one two eight decimal three five jet blue three two zero heavy. Hydra that tower jet blue three two zero heavy neither miles. He's inbound ILS runway. Alright, so we're about ten miles. Go ahead and bring this thing down. One four one at eight. Clear ILS runway two seven left approach jet blue three two zero heavy. Jet blue three two zero heavy clear to land runway two seven left. Point one four one at eight. Clear to land runway two seven left jet blue three. All right, well, I didn't get the temperature. It's kind of too late. I don't have enough time. We're about to have to disengage the autopilot and land this thing anyway, so I don't have an approach reference speed. If 
Flaps full, landing gears coming down. One thousand. I forgot to turn the seat belts back on. Let everybody know we're about to land. Autopilot's coming off. 500. Auto throttle is off. 400. 300. 200. 100. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. I forgot to arm the ground spoilers and the auto brakes. Trying to get all that ATIS and stuff in. Yeah, that, that wasn't my best landing, but I mean, with no auto brake, no no spoilers deployed or nothing like that. I was I had my head buried in the computer trying to get everything set up too much there at the last minute, but definitely wasn't the smoothest landing I've ever had. But we got it down anyway. Somehow we didn't overheat the brakes. I'm not sure where this taxiway either. Uh, I'm over here on the other runway. It's supposed to be. I should. I could have exited there. I guess we just have to back taxi down uh, 27 right here. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Shut up. So yeah, that was, uh, I didn't practice anything. That was my first landing with the uh, Freedom 2.4 cordless Bluetooth joystick. And I am flying it in true Airbus style. So I have this joystick. I'm flying this joystick with my left hand. I've never tried that. I'm a right-handed person. I've never tried flying anything left-handed before. I figured I'd give it a shot because normally the, the main pilot of the Airbus sits on the left side, so this is how they have to do it. Uh, and actually, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I, I think it was pretty good. If I would have had a little more time to get the plane set up like I wanted to, I, I would have I would have been paying more attention to you know kind of what I was doing. I was paying too much attention to this down here instead of this out here. So uh, not too bad. Normally I would have a temperature, you would set up you know, the temperature, runway length, you have all that stuff that you put in this com little computer down here and then that basically tells you on this screen here when you're coming into land exactly what speed you should be flying at when you touch down to have the best landing that you could possibly have. I did not have that reference speed. I was just flying at whatever I could to get it on the ground. Um, normally you would also come up here and you click one of these buttons for the auto brakes. It's either low, medium, or max. And then as soon as the wheels touch the ground, 
it automatically manages the brake pressure for you so that you don't have to worry about overheating the brakes by just putting your foot on the brake and slowing it down. Also, the spoilers that I armed, um, they are the spoilers that are sticking up on the wings right now. Those basically just help you slow down once you hit the ground. If you click this where the white stripe is showing, that means they're armed and whenever you touch the ground, they will automatically go to 100% to start helping you slow down. I didn't arm those, I was not ready, so we had to, I'm glad we had a long runway and we were able to uh, roll out as far as we were able to and not overheat the brakes in the process. Because if you slam on the brakes too hard in this thing, you'll get a nice little red warning and the plane will start yelling at you and say that you've uh, overheated the brakes here. I don't know why this tug is where it is. Normally it would not be that far out. I mean, because there's no way that that ramp is going to be able to reach this plane there's just no way. But it, it's where they were telling us to park, so that's where we're gonna park. And on the cabin door, parking brake is on, flaps can go back to zero. Okay, so flight director, landing systems can go off. And that's pretty much it. Go ahead and shut the engines down. And that was our landing into Gandhi International in Africa. I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with this joystick. You can find these on eBay used for 30 bucks all day long. And it works great. I can't say anything bad about it. Even sitting on the table, just on the little rubber feet that it has, it, it didn't slide, it didn't move around when I was using it. Uh, yeah, good joystick for 30 bucks, man. Especially, you know, it's used. It was used when I got it. It's been sitting on a shelf for 10 years, apparently, and it still works great, so can't ask for much more. That's going to be today's video. Make sure you... Click the subscribe button and click that bell so you know when I post new videos and we'll catch y'all in the next one.